Hello, my dear friends. I am Dharmendra Yadu. In this video, I will tell you how to annotate your data. I am using a tool. There are a lot of tools to annotate your data. But in this video, I will use RoboFlow to annotate your data. This is the easiest and simple tool that will be used for annotate your data. So let's go and start your annotation process in RoboFlow. There are a lot. Uh, if you are training your model in Yellow 8 or higher version of Yellow, then you need to annotate your data so that you can easily train your model on your image data set. So the uh, uh, easiest one is the RoboFlow, which will be used for annotate your data. So first of all, you down uh, write your name RoboFlow in a search bar. Just click on search bar. Then there is a come uh, RoboFlow computer vision for development and enterprises. In this, you just click on this and you will see the interface there are a lot of interface you can see that cop person or anything else all these things are trained or annotated uh, uh, in a roboflow or any other uh, annotation tool but uh, all these things are annotated in your roboflow just sign in when you sign in this if you are not creating your account first of all you create your account in the roboflow or by using gmail option you can also log in i have already created account so that i just log in, in my roboflow account and after clicking it and creating it you have uh, your workspace first of all create your workspace if you are using first time then you need to create your workspace just type your name of workspace after creating the workspace you will uh, see the like this environment where i already created a lot of projects uh, or annotation process in this roboflow you can see that there are uh, seven projects already annotated in this roboflow and just clicking and create exact create a project just click on a create a project when you're clicking on a create a project then it will be asked about the project name and annotation group after that there are option four option will be available first one is object detection second one is a classification third one is the instance segmentation and key point detection object detection basically used for detecting the object and best model for counting and tra tracking the object classification basically used for classification it will be treated all the image as a single object and you are not able to annotate single single object in your images but just providing that if you are saying that this is the ground then it is a ground it is apple then it is apple it is a uh, orange then it will be orange single images single image or single object present in the images this is the defect detec detection it will use for detect the ob uh, uh, detect the def uh, defect or detect the old one object for example if you are using more than 100 or 200 images of apple then there is the other uh, other images of orange or banana it will be detect and uh, last one is the key point detection key point detection is for basically skeleton design of human being it will be detect your skeleton of human being and basically is used for both estimation purpose this is used for measurement and out shape detection purpose this is for filtering and content notation this is the counting and tracking object next one is uh, when you click a name of the project just i'm providing name of a a d b and uh, i'm uh, using uh, this is the play group play is the option and just create on a public project when you click on a just a public project it will be open a new window and ask for drag and drop your images or annotation to upload them and there are the two options first one is the select file second one is the select folder i am using file section just clicking on the file i am already use uh, open these images i select three uh, three images one two one two three sorry and this is the third one and this is the fourth one i select four images you can select as per your requirement you can select one two three or 100 200 images as per your requirement i'm already trained more than 1000 images in yellow model uh, in roboflow to train yellow model after four images are present just save and continue when click on save and continue all the images and save then after comes how do you want to label your image it will be asked how do you want to label your images first is the start auto labeling it's large generalized model to aut uh, automatically label the images basically it is a paid version second is the logo flow labeling work with professional team to for human level human level but it also is a paid version for uh, labeling and third one is the man manual labeling manual labeling is basically used for manual labeling used by the user just for example me i am uh, training my model and uh, sorry uh, label my model just then i go it is a free version you can freely uh, annotate your images easily you can also invite teammate but there is the restriction of three person at a moment you can annotate your image more than three person is not allowed in free version if you are go to the paid version then all the per more than three person is allowed it. and assigning images click on the assigning images just click on assigning images just after clicking it will be show the four images and annotation this is the an un annotated image is four and annotated image is zero star annotation after starting annotation it will become like this i, I just select 
and this one is the building and i name is building rename is building and you can also specify the building block which building block is it is and save and uh, this one is the playground I think there is the error message. This is the playground. Okay, it is not allowed to annotate this next when i go to the next image and if this is again this is the building sorry this is the tool and annotate it this one is the building save and this is the new class name is entrance next class and this is the goal pole you can say that goal post also And save goal pole again save this is the again a goal pole save i will tell you these these are the toolbar first one is the toolbar it is used for drag and drop tool uh, basically it's drag and drop your images from anywhere you want when you're clicking it it will be drag your images you can see that drag and drop this is the use for uh, this one is used for tracking your images uh, or tracking your image, bounding box your images. And this one is the uh, polygon tool. You can uh, annotate your images by if you are not using a square by uh, square or rectangle, then it will be used for this type of images. It will be used for uh, providing an annotation as per your requirement if you want. For example, this and this, this one is, this one is the ground. And this one is the ground. 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 And this one is the ground. This type of imagination you need to. This tool is needed. And this is the polygon tool. And this one is the smart polygon tool. According to here, this uh, use an intelligent assistant to draw your polygon uh, clicking on the center of objects. Then keep clicking to add or subtract the area. This one is the Use for label assistant use the prediction from the roboflow train model as per starting point this one is used for repeat previous basically it will be used for uh, images uh, not for images it will be used for videos for annotation and this is the comment comment you can add a comment on uh, annotation or any image this is the undo operation and this is the redo operation Re, uh, redo the previous section and undo the previous action these are the basically tools that will be used in roboflow and next image i go to, to the next image and this one is the fourth one image you can see that this is the goal post oh sorry this is the it will be select polygon tool i'm using bounding box tool and this is the bounding box tool used for goal pole this is the bounding box for goal pole and this is the car and rename as a car new class name is car and all the images are annotated then back and all the four images are annotated and add images to the data set when you are adding images to the data set it will be show 
three option train validation and test image set you can uh, there is the predefined uh, train and validation image percentage but you can add train validation image percentage as per your requirement i'm changing this and add images in your database when you are add images in database it will be show the three option in the train images only two images and in the validation and test images and uh, data set only one one images when clicking on the data set option it will be ask your more images if you uh, upload more images then click here and uh, last page and you can add more images as per your requirement this is the train images both both two are the train images this is the test images and this is the validation images when clicking on the health check it will show the all the options that present in the health check option you can see that this is the health check option there are the goal post five option building is the two option uh, two and a car is one and playground is play is one option then this is the under representation and both are good uh you under representation means that there are the less images or less classes defined in your data set uh, for training purpose it provide a bad result so that you are not go for under representation images you annotated more images so that come on uh, regular images and as compared to all the uh, classes images equivalent to all the class images so that easily identification to you and generate highest result your model next is a generate when click on the generate option it will be the generate all the images and in the generate option there are the first is the uh, the two step one is the pre-processing and second is the augmentation in pre-processing there are the lot of option present in this you can see that uh, first is the isolate object static crop dynamic crop gray scale images auto or just contrast tiles modify null and filter by tag just clicking on uh, any of the filter or pre-processing step i'm using static crops so there is the two type of static crop first is the horizontal range and second is the vertical range and you can change this horizontal or vertical range as per your requirement uh, i'm using 25 and 75 percent 25 and 75 percent in vertical as well as horizontal just click on apply it will be add all the images just apply and uh, it apply pre-processing step on the all images there are the three option auto orientation static crop and resize images just click on a, uh, continue then it come to the augmentation step augmentation step use basically enhance your database it will be increase your images by applying augmentation step when click on add augmentation step it will be show all the augmentation step you can see that first is the flip flip means rotation of 180 degree second is the 90 degree rotate crop rotation shear exposure brightness saturation hues grayscale blur blur means you can adding blurness or uh some distraction your images noise you can add a dot point cut out some, uh, some black point added, added on your images mosaic different different images in single images it will not recommended by the researcher used in your yolo model because it uh decrease your model performance exposure brightness increase your brightness saturation increase your saturation it will crop according to images rotation rotate by angle i'm just adding one of the augmentation option so when you're clicking on it it will be show that there are the i'm using 15 percent it will be allow best model performance if you want to take best model performance then not use more than 50 percent of the rotation if you are adding more than 50 percent rotation your model performance is decreased so i'm using 14 percent 13 percent and applying it when i applying it it will be added in augmentation step this is the added in what is the range minus 32 plus 13 degree you can uh, add or delete rotation of degree continue when you continue image it will be create your data set it will take some time to creating a data this is the, when you go to the created it will be three times images created three time images you can enhance your images four times five times six times eight times or 20 times up to 36 times or 50 times but it will provide a free version in your free version it will provide only 3x images but you go to the paid version or upgraded version then it will be announced as per your requirement up to 50 times okay just create when i create click on the create it will be create all the images and you can see that it will create all the image there are total four images classes are only four and unaltered images is zero training images is two testing images is one and validation images is one this is the eight images created different different eight images by rotation applying rotation or pre-processing step there are the six step uh, six images in training set and one testing set and one validation set this is the orientation step and this is the augmentation step and just clicking on the export data you can export your data there are the two options to uh, i'm using yellow it i'm using yellow 8 and this is the yellow 8 model different different yellow 8 9 yellow 8 
सेवन वी सेवन वी फाइव वी वी एट और वी नाइन आई एम यूजिंग येलो एट सो दैट यू कैन डाउनलोड टू ऑप्शन वन इज शो योर कोड डाउनलोड कोड बट आई एम नॉट गोइंग विद शो डाउनलोड कोड बिकॉज वेन यू क्लिकिंग ऑन इट इट विल प्रोवाइड द कोड टू डाउनलोड ऑल द इमेजेस ऑन योर कोड विंडो कोड विंडो वेन यू आर कोडिंग अपलाइंग कोडिंग देन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली डाउन डाउनलोड द इमेजेस फ्रॉम द रोबो फ्लो बट आई एम यूजिंग दिस वन इज डाउनलोड जिप टू माई कंप्यूटर दिस विल अलाउड टू डाउनलोड इमेज इमेजेस टू योर कंप्यूटर इन जिप फॉर्मेट सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू इट विल डाउनलोड ऑल द इमेजेस इन योर कंप्यूटर सो इट विल बी ईजी टू यूज एनी वेयर एंड यू नॉट नीड टू डाउनलोड एवरी टाइम टू इमेज इन योर कोड विंडो इट इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन यू कैन डाउनलोड एंड योर इमेजेस आर डाउनलोड इन इन जार फाइल यू कैन जिप फाइल और यू कैन ईजिली एक्सट्रेक्ट ऑल द इमेजेस एंड यूज डी इन योर मॉडल okay you can train your model in roboflow also they they will provide a three credit to train your model but i am not using here training purpose i am using my yolo model uh, in jupiter notebook so that i will not using here okay thank you and if there is any issue then you will comment me or any improvement my video then you comment me so that i will try to improve all the necess uh, necessary suggestion by you if you think that my video is useful to you then you can like my video and subscribe my channel thank you my dear thank you